Hello everyone, Rurikon here coming at you with another episode of Dragon's Dogma Double Dwarven playthrough. Unfortunately, throughout today's episode, I'm going to have to apologize because uh, I did pick up a cold, as I've mentioned in the past couple of episodes, and um, I'm still not 100%. So that is the reason why my voice might sound a little bit different. And on top of that, my main issue is that my chest is extremely congested. So you might hear me from time to time kind of gasping for air, maybe even wheezing a little bit. So I'm going to have to go ahead and ask you guys to bear with me on that because... I actually don't have a sore throat anymore, and I felt like there's there really is no reason that I can come up with for not to record. So, I also have a mint in my in my mouth right now, which is the reason why you might be listening to whatever something in my voice. But anyways, let's get right back to this, shall we? As you can see, the gear changed quite a bit. Uh, what happened is, if you guys remember, quite a couple of episodes ago. I actually picked up a bronze idol, which uh, there was a quest to hand in the bronze idol to this guy. So the last time I came to town, like I told you, I wanted to go ahead and make some. Um, I wanted to make some inventory management and some gear upgrades and whatnot. So I ended up giving this guy the bronze idol, and in turn, he allowed me to upgrade a couple of things. Now, one of those is the um, cloak that I'm wearing is slightly different. Obviously, the armor on Rurikane is also completely different, as well as the staff, because it was also some gear that I've picked up, and basically, I mixed and match, and I'm gonna, gonna try not to bore you guys all that much. Also, you guys can see that I switched the pawns around, so right now, we are rocking a um, double sorcerer with archer team, which means we actually only have myself as melee, which I think is probably a bad idea, but I decided to roll with it anyways, because... I felt that the uh, two-handed warrior was really not getting enough use. So we will see if that um, ends up working out for us or not. So what I wanted to do right now is actually hand in the Griffin quest. And see if there's any other quest that they want to give us at the castle. But my... Um, the quest that I really wanted to do is to go and save Celine because apparently there's some issues with Celine. I have to go back to Witchwit, and I know I probably should have um, put a port crystal there, but like I told you guys, I wasn't even aware of what port crystals did until a couple of days ago. So. I've detailed our nearest estimate of their meeting place upon your map. Above all, see that you are not discovered in your search. Quiet as a shadow. I don't think that he's talking about the same quest that I am. Now, several people actually told me that I was supposed to exit the castle normally, and despite the fact that um, I've been into this castle three times, and three times I could not resist the urge to just bitch slap the jester. A lot of you guys told me that I've actually might have missed on a quest line, which is, uh, what can I say? I'm, I'm a temperamental individual when it comes to video games, so, yeah. Hmm. There's nobody here. Maybe they're upstairs. Yes, it does seem to be the case. Hello, good sir. Welcome back, sir. Then the Griffin is defeated. Why, yes, indeed. Blessed relief that all who walk Grant's roads will rest easier for it. I would have to go ahead and agree. Trade. I'm risking my ass off for trade. Well, I guess trade and prosperity is essential for a kingdom anyways. And the others who fought have my thanks arisen. Yeah, I dismissed him after the fight. Yeah, yeah, level 40. Oh, you got new quests? You are to see me for your assignments, and I speak, pray, make your choice, sir. Oh, I forgot that I was supposed to be gathering evidence for this important trial thing. How about you? I hear his conviction would bring me no joy, not least for the loss of revenue. I would say. arisen. I have a proposition, sir. I've long had dealings with Fornival and want to believe in his innocence. Ooh. Pray take a petition for his acquittal from me, that it may help sway his arbiters. Well, I really should get started on this Fornival quest because supposedly it's um. 
Supposedly, it is actually pretty close to the deadline. Let's see what we can find in regards to Mr. Forneval, shall we? We're going to be doing a little bit of an investigation. CSI Ruricon version. Let's try not to stab anyone in the process. The racism these people have towards pawns. Pawns are not allowed in the castle. Poor pawns. So unfair. Holy crap. Wait a minute. Do I actually have to go to Caster this? No, I'm not going to Caster this. Screw that. Um, mm, change scale. Oh, wow. We'd have to go all... Well, actually, we have the port crystal thing, so it's actually feasible. As well as Wind Bluff Tower, that's feasible as well. Interesting. It's feasible because I actually did the Port Crystal thing on Wind Bluff Tower, which is always good. So let's see what we have here. So in this city, supposedly there's something right in this building. It's not madness, it's it's actually Sparta. I highly doubt you d you'll do that. NPCs always say that and they never deliver, ever. You're a liar and a thief and a scoundrel. Not until all the evidence have has been uh oh. What do you boys know? Are you tired, Master? Do not hesitate to I guess you don't know a damn thing. Mm, would you be the other I believe in my father's innocence arisen, please. Hmm. Where is the other one? Because I can see that there is more here. Wonder if there's another door. Hmm. Interesting. No, there there's probably more than one floor up. That's what's going on. So maybe this way? Door is closed. So I'm not given access to the other person? It would seem to me that you are tricking me, Mr. Forneval. Grant me access. I guess he's not going to give us access to his house. Well, in that case, that's one point less to you, good sir. You are standing in the path of justice. Anyways, let's go over to the church. I assume that we're going to have to have a word with the uh, Padre. Well met. Let's see what he has to say. Whoa. Yo, bro. What's up? What? Forneval stands trial? Tis a pity. In truth, the man was profligate. His ostentation earned him envy and enmity in equal parts. I don't know what profligate means. Damn, this game uses big-ass words. But he was not the sort of man to seek profit in the misfortunes of others. I will add my name to the petition. I shall pray that his innocence is proven. We've done it. We've done it. I highly doubt that that's it. But anyways, let's have another look at the map here. Uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot more to do in town. Which means Blue Moon Tower or Casardis. So we're going to go ahead and go to Casardis. For starters. Uh, it's not equipment, is it? Oops. 
Mm, eternal fairy stone. Now, I'm not sure if time passes when you use this. Hopefully it doesn't, like, fast forward time because we are time sensitive in regards to this particular matter. I hope. We'll see. And we're at Casardis. It's still daytime, so there shouldn't be any issues. Now then, I do believe that it's inside, right? Yeah, it's inside the city. So let's go in here, sort out this Casardis business. Once we're done with the Casardis business, I'm going to have to go back to Witchwood because I want to visit uh, Celine, see what's going on there. Oh, great, the guard's right here. What the hell? Not right now, maybe later. You. Tell me about the other guy. I would deny the thrill of waiting judgment. Oh, you scumbag. Of affidavit for sale at bargain rates. I have statements of very guilt or innocence. Quite the clever forgeries, these. They always sell well when there's an inquest on. And why not? Tis a heady thing to buy a man's guilt or innocence. If you've mistaken the trial's result, you'd be a fool not to. I'll disavow we ever spoke if asked, mind. The choice is yours to make. My prices ebb and flow with the tides of the trial. Still, tis a small price for... What a scumbag. Nah, screw you, dude. No, That's not the way to do things. What, what do you sell besides that? Do you sell any weapons? Rusted... Rusted crap. Red leather cap. Psst. That looks pretty good on my dwarf. Mm, most of this armor seems to be pretty crappy. Interesting that I haven't seen this guy around before. This flutter padding seems rather interesting. Because it looks kind of cool, but no. what the hell with that? Pray, yeah, you didn't help me at all, you scumbag. Anyways, let's go ahead and use the fairy stone. Go to the point that I have in Grancis, which will actually take us to... Wait a minute. This is not where we want to go. Aw, oh, damn it, you gotta be kidding me. The place that I want to go to is actually a little bit... It's off the trail. Well, it's not too far away. How much time do we still have? Let's look at the quest log. It says we're near the deadline. Hmm... Hmm. Days remaining two. Ah, if I still have two days remaining. It should be enough for us to go to the place that we have to go to and come back. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. Eternal fairy stone use. And once again, like I said, this this is the way that I play these kinds of games. Slow and steady. I wonder if someone's going to try to intercept me on the way, which which would actually be useful because I want to test out a new skill. I got, uh, what's it called? Calamity? It's not Calamity. No, it's the Windmill. Great Windmill, yeah. Which actually looks pretty good, I mean... It's interesting that I never used this particular attack before, but I think it looks pretty decent. So I am somewhat curious. Hmm. Wait a second. Why isn't this exit marked? 
this exit should be marked as well because this is the exit I'll take to come over here to Wind Bluff Tower. And let's see if we can kill something along the way. Hopefully we'll come across a troll or an ogre or something to give you guys a little bit of action. Also, I'm aware that I owe you guys a live stream for Dark Souls, which probably a lot of you guys are like, hey, what's up with the Glass Mage? The thing is, uh, considering that uh, I've been sick and whatnot, I've been trying to avoid live streams because one of the live streams that I definitely want to make is the Wednesday night live stream, which by the time this video comes out may or may not be relevant. Hopefully I will make a video announcing the Wednesday live stream because obviously the reason for the Wednesday live streams is um, it's with unit loss and it's usually pretty fun and I want to try and save myself for those because... Um, I mean, obviously, there's more people depending upon that live stream than just me, so... Oh, what the hell? That made almost no damage. Oh, that was pretty effective. Oh, 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 oh. Not nice. Can I have a heal, please? There we go. Come on, where's that heal? Christ, it takes like two years. The um, intimate gambit remains the most powerful thing still. Oh, that was a pretty dodgy block there. Is that Execree that he's casting? I think my mage might be casting Execree. Whoa! Whatever that was, that was pretty cool. That looked like combustion or something. Either way, I just wanted to get some action in because I wanted to test the new uh, ability that I've gotten. The whole windmill slash and whatnot. Come on, let's hurry it up, boys. And girls. Actually, I think there's two guys, two gals now. Yep. One thing that I've always had uh, trouble justifying is the ranger, because the ranger never seems to do enough damage on the bow. But uh, I'm not 100% sure if that is the case or not. It's just I want to avoid having a melee character ahead of me. And instead I want to be the only melee in the middle of the confusion, which is probably a bad idea, but what the hell. Looks like we got those same gobos that we pick up every single time. And oh, a chimera. Now there's something interesting. Let's go ahead and save. And we're going to try and fight that Chimera to, you know, bring a little bit of spice into things. Because variety is the spice of life. And that's the way that I plan on doing these videos anyways. So let's get to it, shall we? Chimera is not going to kill itself. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to aggro those Gabos. Because if I will... It would probably be more prudent to aggro them before, but it doesn't look like it. As a matter of fact, it seems that we're going to be able to catch it in its sleep. Let's go. This is an ambush? I was the one ambushing. Hey, what the hell? Grab. There we go. Now, the thing is, I don't have gouge. I still do a decent amount of damage. Come on, attack. Attack, you bastard. Oh, good job. I wonder if Execui can actually kill... Holy crap. Let's go ahead, get ourselves uh, some mushroom action. We actually have large mushrooms. Maybe even a piece of hat spud milk. Well, actually, hats, but milk didn't do much for us. Now let's get onto the goat. Oh yeah, that ranger is dealing crap tons of damage. Most definitely. How could I have doubted? 
Whoa, Jicel right there. I guess I've overleveled the point where chim this particular Chimera would be a threat. Because damn, that was not a threat at all. Then again, I think the pawns did most of the work there, but... Wait a second. Why is there no longer a... What? Oh, I think the time is over. I guess teleporting to places does spend time, because... It said two days remaining. Hmm. I guess... No, I guess that was... A long time ago. Either way, looks like I'm not going to have enough time to finish that, so let's go into town and see what's going to happen on the trial. He's probably going to be found guilty. I mean, I do have two things of innocence, so... And again, should I prove him innocent? Should I prove him guilty? I should I should have paid more attention to this particular quest. I wasn't aware that there were actually quests in this game that would have, like, a, a time limit. I mean, I noticed when the game started telling me, oh, you're, you're reaching the time limit of the quest, but when I accepted it, I wasn't paying that much attention, which obviously worked against me. Now then, we need to get ourselves to the castle, I assume? Oh, what the hell? Erp derp. Order! I will have order! <clears throat> this inquest has its conclusion. Bornival Frescobaldi, in the name of his grace, Duke Edmund Dragonsbane, the court hereby proclaims its verdict. Guilty. Whereas you have deceived your fellow man to sate your avarice, the court sentences you to life imprisonment. This inquest is hereby ended. I didn't present any proof, so the guy got screwed. I feel sorry for you, Fornival, and probably you guys are going to leave in the comments that he's got th these items that you really, really need. You're screwed. It's the end. Task is done. That was it. That was terrible. I totally messed up this quest. Totally. I had at least two things that I could have handed in. And I handed in nothing because I was greedy to get everything. I don't suppose we can do an appeal. That is a damn shame. That is a damn shame indeed. Not to mention it's pretty anticlimactic, if I'm to be completely honest. It's just like, oh, you messed up. The guy's guilty. He's going to prison. That's that. I mean, come on, surely there's got to be something I can do about this. Don't call me Shirley. Word of Fornival's verdict. The inquest ended without event. No thanks to your reprehensible indolence. I will not brook such sloth in the future, sir. You bastard. Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I have more tasks that require your attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. It grieves me to report an item was stolen from the castle's stores a few days past. It was a possession of the Duke's and a treasure of the realm. The Worm King's Ring. The band was stolen under heavy watch. I fear it to be the work of someone within the castle. Oh, no more investigations, please, because that's definitely not something that you're doing right. First, the ring must be reclaimed. You would do well to begin by asking the men and women of the castle what they know. That ring is a treasure to all Grancis, and a symbol of the Duke's authority. Okay. Many within the castle. I have more tasks that... 
I had a task I wished entrusted to you, sir. But Sir Mercedes insisted it be hers instead. She was most adamant. Though she is a knight come in good faith to aid us, she remains daughter to Hearthstone's lord. It does my heart no ease to see her undertake such a dangerous errand. Alas, in the face of her ardent petition, there was naught I could do but accede. Can I ask that you at least accompany her, sir? She must be kept safe. My thanks, Arisen. Pray go and speak to Sir Mercedes. Okay, it seems that at least there's, um... At least there's nothing else that requires time, so to speak. By that I mean that is time sensitive. Yeah, that, that's the proper way to say it. So what we're going to be doing uh, is I actually want to go ahead and do the witch hunt, which basically involves going back to... What do you want? Speak! There's talk of revolt in the north. Won't say I cannot understand the impulse. Manning a desolate stronghold that just as like serves no use in staying the dragon is mean work. There's only so much fear and idleness a man can take, especially on those meager wages. Okay. Is that all you had to say, soldier? Ooh, Mercedes. She's ready to go. But we're not ready to go with her just yet. Because we are going on a witch hunt. Now let's see if I can remember the quickest way into Witchwood, I think, is actually from Casardis. I think. Not 100% sure. But it probably is. Casardis has to be closer. Well, we can just check that real fast. So let's see. Casardis, Casardis. The Witchwood is here, right? No, these Vastad Hills. Where the hell's Witchwood? I forget. Here's Witchwood. No. This can't be Witchwood. It's the Wilted Forest. No, this one's Witchwood. No, neither of those is Witchwood. This one is Witchwood. So obviously, yet yeah, it is closer to go through Casardis, so we will be heading out to Casardis instead. Once again, I have to apologize if you guys are listening to any wheezing or me gasping for air. It's just, sorry about that. And we are now going into Casardis. From Casardis on to Witchwood. Probably going to meet up with some of those uh, tough bandits. Let's see if they're still as tough as I remember them from the first couple of episodes. Because those were some tough times. Those were some tough times indeed. Now, let us continue on through here. Several people have been asking if I'm going to play the DLC. Yes, I will play the DLC, but I do intend on doing as much as I possibly can on the rest of the world before heading to the DLC. Wow, we totally nailed him to the floor. Poor bastard didn't even see it coming. It has such style, this attack that I'm using now. It's definitely got some style to it. Me likey. And again, these are filthy gabos, like, they're not supposed to really be a problem. I think I have to kill rabbits. I'm not going through inside the encampment, because that's kind of like a waste of a loading screen. So instead we're going to be going around, it's probably faster than doing two loading screens, I would assume. And there's nothing inside the camp that we really need. I'm going to start ignoring materials, um, at least in this area, because I've done pretty much all the upgrades I can with these materials, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I think I have a ton of the materi of the materials from the early areas. The witch ward is this way, Master. Care to find out where this path leads? I wouldn't really say I care to find out where it leads. Is that a wolf going upside down that I see further ahead? 
Well, these wolves are going to be a nuisance, so what I'm going to do is... I think I should be able to nail them. Whoa. I do a lot better with a sword, I have to admit. Come on, little wolves. Whoa. Smack dab in the face. Now, someone actually told me that you can use arrows to break apart rocks, so I'm about to test that theory. We're apt to meet bandits and thieves as all these peasants Okay, whoever said that was a filthy liar, it most definitely does not work. Anyways, we're going to be encountering some thieves, so it is time to go ahead and switch back to shield. I should at some point use daggers as well. It's just I like sword and board so much. It's just my thing. Let's go ahead and save before we proceed, because obviously we already have past experience with these thieves that is not very nice. So I am somewhat curious to see if, uh, I think they should be pretty easy now, but... Wow, that guy went flying off from the ranger attack. Ah, dude. Nope, you're not gonna be a problem anymore. Yep, we're almost there. Holy crap, look at the amount of enemies that we have down there. I'm gonna save again, just in case. You never know. And once we're through with those enemies, I think we still have a couple of wolves before we actually get down to the Witchwood. Which means that by the time we get to Witchwood, it's most likely going to be nighttime, which it's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie, it's going to somewhat suck. You guys mind? Come at me, bros. Nope, let go of my mages. I'm sorry, can I help you? Oops, totally missed that. Still dangerous in hard mode, because hard mode is hard mode. Ooh, and I got smacked in the face. <laughs> I think that was my ranger. Basically giving that guy a taste of his own medicine. Oh, look what we have here. Damn straight, insolence. How dare he. Are we quite done here? I think we're done here. Oh, and here we go, the wolves again. What do you mean swinging blindly? I was doing the windmill slash. It's like a dance. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Everybody do the windmill. Now that's badass. Come on, guys. You gotta admit, that's pretty badass. Takes care of these damn wolves. Uh, some shrooms? Sweet, I'll take some shrooms. Kindling? No, I want the shrooms. There we go. It's not slippery, it's more kind of like furry. 
this is what I've been using to, um, at, at you guys' advice, I might add, is what I've been using to summon minions to me, my uh, pawns to me. I've been using the help command because you guys said that using the come command is actually pretty bad because they become guardians and guardians are pretty much useless, which to me really is a, somewhat of a deficiency in the way that the AI system works if that happens to be the case because with my limited experience, I actually do not know if that is the case or not. But, like I said, if that is the case, it is a deficiency in the AI system because just because I'm calling... Just because I'm calling them to me doesn't mean that I want them to be more defensive. Well, in a way it kind of does, but... Defensive is not standing around doing nothing, so... Whoa! Oh yeah, there were some pretty tough wolves here, if I remember. Well, I think we're supposed to go up. Come on, boys. Everybody do the windmill. Yep, having the ranger seems to be a lot more useful than the other fighter, at least up until this point. But, then again, I haven't really fought anything particularly powerful, so... I can't be too sure, but it definitely seems more useful because he does engage in melee combat every now and then. So, he's not just a ranged character, so to speak. Oh, look at that, a chest. Direwolf cape. That actually sounds interesting. Is it a lot better than what I have? 329, 256, two better resistances, but this one has more resistances. Mm, it's not bad if you take into consideration that mine is uh, already plus one. It doesn't look too bad either. I might take it just on looks alone. I'm very bad at judging gear in this game in terms of the resistances and whatnot because I can't I can barely interpret the uh, the symbols that the game's got. Large coin pouch, giant coin pouch. Where's the bridge that crosses over to the other side? Aha! Here it is. Although it doesn't really matter because we're supposed to be going in that direction. There's the other periapt that we need to get rid of. Did I just see some kind of arrow being shot? Oh, spiders. Well, here's what we can do. We can switch to bow. There we go. That clears up the fog. Now we can switch back to shield. But anyways, that's actually going to be it for this particular episode. Not really too much of an exciting episode, but... Uh, whoa! On the next um, episode, we're going to figure out what's going on with um, Celine. And see uh, if people are going to attack her or what the hell's going on. Because I don't want Celine dead. She's a nice girl. I wonder if Kina's here with her. By the way... That is going to be it for this episode, as per usual. Thank you very much for watching. Leave me a comments, feedback, all that kinds of good stuff. Once again, sorry for my voice and any wheezing that you might have heard. And I will see you guys, what the balls, in the next one. Peace out.